Liberal Viewer present. So last Friday on Fox News, I saw Jamie Colby anchoring a sensationalistic story about indoor marijuana growers in Miami that seemed designed to scare you. Jamie Colby's introductory narration even makes your family the explicit target of the threat when she explains. Right under your family's nose. Can you imagine drug dealers setting up shop in the middle of the burbs, cultivating massive amounts of marijuana inside homes in gated communities? Those used to be where you go to be safe. And if you still don't feel unsafe after that alarmist introduction, on the scene reporter Orlando Salinas immediately reminds you that they're growing powerful and awfully dangerous marijuana. And while calling marijuana awfully dangerous and keeping up that drug lord title is already not very fair and balanced, the real reefer madness hysteria starts when Orlando Salinas reports that this marijuana will kill you as a supposed factual claim from an unnamed DEA agent, as you can see in this clip. 200% more powerful than the stuff that's grown outdoors. One agent said it best. Here it is, quote, this ain't your grandfather's marijuana. This stuff will kill you because the plants have light 24 hours a day and grow 24 hours a day. It's like dope on steroids. Now, while calling it dope on steroids may be a colorful quote, any Fox News fact-checking would have shown that, unlike, say, heroin, alcohol, or even aspirin, it's virtually impossible to get a lethal dose of marijuana. In fact, in an infamous 1988 legal decision, an administrative law judge actually found no factual basis for the DEA's classification of marijuana as a dangerous Schedule One drug. But that decision was vetoed by a political appointee of the Just Say No Reagan administration. That infamous 1988 decision, to which I put a link in the video description, included the following uncontroverted facts. Quote, drugs used in medicine are routinely given what is called an LD50. The LD50 rating indicates at what dosage 50% of test animals receiving a drug will die as a result of drug-induced toxicity. A number of researchers have attempted to determine marijuana's LD50 rating in test animals without success. Simply stated, researchers have been unable to give animals enough marijuana to induce death. At present, it is estimated that marijuana's LD50 is around 1 to 20,000 or 1 to 40,000. In layman terms, this means that in order to induce death, a marijuana smoker would have to consume 20 to 40,000 times as much marijuana as is contained in one marijuana cigarette. Nita supplied marijuana cigarettes weigh approximately 0.9 grams. A smoker would theoretically have to consume nearly 1,500 pounds of marijuana within about 15 minutes to induce a lethal response. In practical terms, marijuana cannot induce a lethal response as a result of drug-related toxicity." Unquote. But Fox News never told its viewers that killer marijuana doesn't really exist, and instead ended this scare story quoting another unnamed DEA official spreading this threat. In some cases, the DEA says drug dealers have actually booby-trapped their homes so small explosives would go off if the neighbors or if the cops ever came too close to those homes. Which leads me to ask, is it appropriate for a news reporter to act as a mouthpiece for government agents without doing any independent checking to give viewers a real factual assessment? And based on a real factual assessment, should you really be worried that drug lords are invading your family's neighborhood to grow killer pot in homes that are booby-trapped to explode? I YouTube, you decide.